The World's I See opens in 2018 on a day at the end of June when the author finds herself on her way to testify for the House Committee on Science, Space and Technology on the topic of artificial intelligence. The author recounts her awe at the gravity of this moment, believing that AI's future will need input from institutional actors beyond scientists, from community activists up through the highest level of government. Rather than merely disrupting society, as Fei Fei argues, the AI revolution should carefully build on social foundations. It must respect the collective dignity of a global community. It must be unequivocally human-centered. This watershed moment in 2018 is described as a kind of criticality, a phase shift in intelligence that took more than half a century for its preconditions to align, the evolution of algorithms, large-scale data, raw computing power. Once these preconditions converged in the 2010s, it took less than half a decade for the capabilities they unleashed to change the world. I was struck by the author's reminiscence of having first visited the US Capitol as a young person. She observes a sharp technological shift in visitor experience with the advent of GPS applications and smartphones. Paper maps, once clutched by out of town tourists, have disappeared. It's a small detail, but it speaks. Our need to find our way hasn't disappeared, but the tools we use to do so are distributed differently from the single misplaceable downpour susceptible paper map to the smartphone's resilient linkage to a network of cell towers, satellites, and cloud servers. Our planet's the same shape, but our task of recognition has shifted. It's more effortless, yet more obscure. How can we keep our technology human-centered without losing sight of the difference between map and territory, policies and planet, forecast and unforeseeable future? Thanks to Fei Fei Li for helping us keep all these worlds in view.